today we have the promise word that we take from Romans chapter 8 verse 1 those who believe in Jesus they will get some power there is therefore no punishment for all those who believe in Jesus there is therefore now no condemnation no punishment no judgment for those who are in Christ Jesus those who are in Christ Jesus are turned as a new creation as a new being second corinthians 5:17 so you are a new person now some of you have reached here yesterday to have the resurrection retreat but now you are a new person some of you are online or maybe from 2020 onwards online you are already turned as a new person everything old is removed and everything gold that is added praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus, thank you, jesus. so today's promise word is romans 8 to 1 so no punishment for you all your punishment in hell or in purgatory cancelled provided that if you have taken a decision to live a life hereafter according to the word of god and magisterial teaching this promise is fulfilled in your life through your decision thank you jesus thank you jesus because punishment is there intrinsic punishment of an action jeremiah chapter 2 verse 19 god doesn't punish you devil doesn't punish you but your wickedness will punish you so there is some reaction already in your body like allergy or some kind of disease that's a reaction of the action but where that reaction will go every action has its own proportionate reaction as einstein said where this proportionate reaction from your body will go when you believe in jesus it will go to the body of jesus hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus by faith you are suffering and your punishment gone to the body of jesus is a mystery a biggest mystery in the bible without a spiritual revelation we will not understand it but we will experience it in our life by faith that is called the justification i read the story of a caliph he found in the middle east many of the government officers taking bribe so he wanted to stop it so he declared one law those who accept bribe hereafter will get 30 lashes tying up on a tripod and 30 lashes will be on their body severe punishment that day evening the cid police in the palace found that the mother of the king accepted 3000 dirhams for for employing a servant girl in the palace that old woman was arrested the judges said she is in very old age and the mother of the king let her be unpunished she is not able to take up not even one lash on her body so fragile so old so the judge said let us ignore this particular case but the king said no law is law those who violate it must be punished so according to the law this woman must be punished some people said king is very cruel if he doesn't punish the mother king will be partial if he is impartial he will be turned as a cruel king who punished even mother king said justice is to be awarded equally to all citizens 
there's no partiality so we all are liable to have a punishment in our own body by our own actions not by god nor by devil but by our own action we have to suffer that reaction that is the law of sin like a law of centro gravity every object being attracted to the center of the earth that's called the law of centro gravity in the same way there is another law the law of sin according to that law a reaction must be in your body it cannot be transferred from generation to generation so catholic church says there is no generational sin there is no sin which are to be transmitted this reaction will be in your body so the king said let my mother be punished because the reaction she has to suffer in her body the following day 9 o'clock this punishment is to be executed she was tied up on a tripod four soldiers started beating her 30 lashes the when the first lash came king came and pushed the mother out of the tripod and he stood in the stead of the mother and said let that punishment on me let the law be fulfilled the law of sin be fulfilled he took 30 lashes on his body so punishment is on his body not on the body of the mother so he executed the law look to the body of jesus he took our place isaiah 53:5 he took our place on the tripod you and i are pushed out of the place from the punishment he took our transgressions he took our place he substituted all human beings and he is stood each individually substituted by jesus only one jesus he substitutes each individual he took all the punishment on his body that is the reaction of the wrong action he took it in his body so i say a53 5 he was wounded all of you repeat he was wounded he i say a53 5 Five. He was wounded. He was wounded for our transgressions. For our transgressions. Crushed. Crushed for our iniquities. For our iniquities. Upon him. Upon him was the punishment. Was the punishment that made us whole. That made us and whole. And by his bruises. And by his bruises. We are healed. We are healed. This Isaiah fifty three five being repeated by Saint Paul in Romans eight to one. There is therefore. no punishment for those who believe in jesus because jesus will push you out of the reaction and he will stand instead of you and he took it in his body look at this crucifix